lecture we have discussed about the liquid crystal and in this lecture we are going to solve the problems on crystal structure which is the first chapter of condensed matter physics these problems are on the basis of solid state physics as well as condensed matter physics and it is which is very important for the net or set exam okay so we will start we have first question a fcc crystal has an atomic radius of 1.246 angstrom what are the interplanar spacing d along the 200 plane along the 220 plane and along the 111 plane okay so we are going to solve this problem this problem okay so we know that the atomic radius of fcc crystal or formula for the atomic uh, radius for the fcc crystal structure is r is equal to a into root 2 divided by 4 we have calculated in previous lecture you can see okay so from this equation we simply write the value of a what is a a is the edge of that particular in itself or we can simply say the interatomic distance the, uh, what is mean by interatomic distance interatomic distance is the distance between two neighboring atoms okay so from this equation simply we can write a is equal to 4r divided by root 2 how we can write this simply this 4 shifting towards the lhs of that equation okay so we have given value of radius what is what is that r is equal to 1.246 angstrom okay so simply put this value in above equation if we consider the equation star or we can say equation number first if we put the r is equal to this value in above equation we will get the interatomic distance okay so simply we can write a is equal to 4 divided by root 2 into that radius a 1.246 angstrom and if we calculate this we will get a is equal to 3.524 angstrom but we have to calculate the interplanar spacing along that plane okay so we calculate the interatomic distance and now we are going to calculate the interplanar spacing between two planes okay sorry along that given planes okay so we know that for X, for fcc crystal dhkl dhkl is equal to a divided by root under root h square plus k square plus l square we have also calculated this value or this formulas in previous lecture you, you can see so we will start for the first we have first plane that is d200 what is this 200 200 is the plane or we can say miller indices or we can also say hkl parameter hkl okay so we have formula a divided by this what is a here we can see a is the 3.524 angstrom okay and what is h we have value value of h is 2 that is square 0 plus 0 because k and l is 0 okay so if we solve this 3.524 angstrom divided by under root 4 we will get 1.762 angstrom. What is this? This is the interplanar spacing along plane 200. Okay. So, next one is. Next one is. D2022. That means interplanar spacing along the 220 plane. Okay. So, we have similarly we have value a is value of a is 3.524 divided by what is the value of h this is h this is k and this is l so simply we can write 2 square plus 2 square plus 0 so we will get 3.524 divided by under root 4 plus 4 so, if we calculate this, we will get 
5 angstrom. Okay. What is this? This is the B220. That means interplanar spacing along the plane 220. So, we will calculate next. This third one is D111. Okay. Put the value of A, which is 3.524 divided by here all value of HK parameter are 1. So, we can write 1 plus 1 plus 1. That is 3. 3.524 under root 3. And if we calculate this, this is 2.034 angstrom. Okay. What is this? This is the B111 is equal to 2.034 angstrom. Okay. That means interplanar spacing along the plane 111. Here we have second question. Question which is find out the number of atoms per square millimeter on a plane 100 of lead whose interatomic distance is 3.499 angstrom. Lead has FCC structure. What do we have? We have given here interatomic distance and FCC structure. Okay. We know that they have to calculate number of atoms per unit cell. Okay. But here we have 1 millimeter square area or we can say plane. Or which plane, which plane given? 100 plane is given here. So we will see solution. For, we know that for FCC crystal structure, the atomic radius or formula for the calculating the atomic radius is equal to R is equal to under root 2 divided by 4A. Okay. So, from this equation, we can simply write here A is equal to 4R divided by under root 2. And we can also write here root 2 into root 2 R and this is equation number 1. Okay. So, what we have another thing. Interatomic distance and which is, is equal to 3.499 angstrom. Okay. We know that what is interatomic distance? Interatomic distance is the distance between two nearing or uh, two neighboring atoms. Okay. So here we can see this is atom at the face center and this atom at the corner of the cube or corner of that plane. Okay. So distance between these two centered is nothing but the interatomic distance and which is equal to 2R because this total diagonal distance is 4R. So, the half of the diagonal distance is 2R. So, we have the interatomic distance is equal to 2R. So, we can simply write here 2R is equal to this given value which is 3.499 angstrom. Okay. So, if we put this 2R value in equation number 1, we will get value of A. So, here we can simply write here A is equal to root 2 and what is the value of 2R? 2R is equal to 3.499. Okay. So, if we calculate this value, we will get 4.95 angstrom. Okay. So, area of plane is equal to A square. Why? Because we know that the square of area is equal to side square. Okay. So, Sorry, area of square is equal to side square and here we have one plane, okay. So, directly we can say area of that plane is equal to A square. So, we have a value of A. So, directly if we take the square of that value, we will get A square is equal to 4.95 into 10 raised to minus 7 square millimeter square, okay. Be, uh, why 10 is to minus 7? Because for the conversion of angstrom to you know, millimeter square or millimeter, we have to multiply by 10 is to minus 7. Okay. So, another things we know, we can see here the number of atoms in given plane is equal to 2. How? We, we have seen earlier in previous lecture. Okay. Uh, we know that the Relative to corner, there are one atom in unit cell or uh, in unit area, okay. And relative to face center, there is also one atom. Here we can see one atom, one face of 
one atom okay so simply we can write here there are two atoms in per unit area we can say per unit area because we have one millimeter square area okay so we can simply write here number of atoms in given plane is equal to two so atoms per millimeter square what we have to calculate we have to calculate atoms per millimeter square or atoms per given area given area is one millimeter square so we can simply say atoms per millimeter square is equal to 2 into 1 divided by this area value of area okay so we will get 8.2 into 10 raise to 12 atoms per millimeter square thank you for watching this video in next lecture we will see the other problems